In the past lesson, we defined digestion as the process in which food is broken down into smaller molecules. The journey of food starts from the mouth and ends in the anus. With the help of accessory organs, the food is broken down into their simplest form. In this video, we will discuss the digestive process and the different enzymes. Here's our learning target. I can describe how food is broken down into a usable form by the digestive system. Enzymes are organic catalysts that can initiate or speed up chemical reactions. The substances that are transformed with the help of enzymes are called substrates. Digestive enzymes are classified based on the substrates they work on. In this video lesson, we will discuss the chemical digestion of carbohydrates, proteins, fats, and nucleic acid. A lot of us are familiar with carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are the sugars, starches, and fibers found in fruits, grains, vegetables, and milk products. Chemical digestion of carbohydrates begins in the mouth and ends in the small intestine. In the mouth, carbohydrate-rich food like rice is changed by the salivary amylase styline into a disaccharides or double sugars. The bolus that contains disaccharide will be changed into a chyme by the churning action of the stomach. This means that the digestion of carbohydrates in the stomach is purely mechanical. In the small intestine, amylopsin repeats the work of thialine to ensure that all carbohydrate molecules are changed into disaccharides. Lastly, the intestinal glands will release the final enzymes for digestion of carbohydrates. For instance, maltase will change the maltose to glucose and glucose. Maltose is usually found in starchy foods. Sucrase will change sucrose to glucose plus fructose. And lastly, milk and other dairy products that contain lactose will be changed by lactase to glucose and galactose. The simplest units of carbohydrates are glucose, fructose, and galactose. Chemical digestion of proteins begin in the stomach and ends in the small intestine. The digestion of protein is mostly mechanical in the mouth region. The teeth will break down the food containing proteins such as pork, beef, and other meat into smaller pieces. In the stomach, an enzyme called pepsin is secreted by the chief cells. Pepsin changes the protein into small polypeptides. Trypsin in the pancreatic juice repeats the work of pepsin to ensure that protein molecules are changed into polypeptides. And lastly, the intestinal glands will secrete aminopeptidases and erepsin to change the polypeptides and dipeptides into amino acids. Foods like butter or even a pork belly contains fat. Digestion of fats mostly happen in the small intestine. The enzymes pancreatic lipase or stipsin acts on these fats and changes them into fatty acids and glycerol. These can also be used by our body as energy sources. And just like fats, chemical digestion of foods that are rich in nucleic acid mostly happens in the small intestine. The enzyme nuclease in the pancreatic juice will act on the nucleic acid-rich foods and changes them into nucleotide. Then, nucleotide will still further broken down into its component molecules. Nucleotidase will change the nucleotide into nucleoside and phosphoric acid. Another enzyme called nucleosidase will further break down nucleoside into pentose and nitrogenous bases like purine and pyrimidine. The digestive system processes the food into products which body cells can utilize. That is why it's very important to take care of it. If you like more science videos, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thank you and always remember that you are all awesome.